Are you seeing a message that your Prime movie is not available in Mexico? Say you have a US Prime account, but you find yourself down in Mexico, and you also find that you're seeing these error message of traveling, some titles may not be available in your location, or this title isn't available in your location. So it is fixable, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. I'm Brighton West, and on this channel, I post videos helping people move from the United States down to Mexico. So if that's you, be sure to click the subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified of future videos. But let's dig in. So I want to watch the movie Almost Famous, but you can see here that it's not available in Mexico and Amazon knows that I am down in Mexico. So really what we're going to do is we're going to trick Amazon into thinking that we're still in the United States. And I wonder if this might work, like if you're trying to find some great Bollywood movies. If you trick your computer into thinking that you're in India, I wonder if there might be a better selection there. So to do this, we're going to use something called a VPN or a virtual private network. So what this does is it creates tunnels across the internet and it is a, it's a great security feature that you probably should have on your computer if you're ever using a public network. Um, it protects your data as it moves back and forth between places, but it also hides the location of your computer and it shows the location of the computer on the other side of the tunnel. So really what we're doing here is, you know, we're establishing a computer somewhere else and we can choose wherever in the world that somewhere else is. And this is a service that you have to pay a couple dollars a month for, but like I said, it's well worth it, not only to get your movies running, but also for the security of your computer. So the one I've been using for years is NordVPN. Let me just pull it up down here. And this works on my Mac, it works on a PC, it will work on your iPad or your Android device. So it's, it's pretty uh, versatile in terms of where this will work. Um, and there's a number of other VPN solutions similar that are out there on the internet. This just happens to be the one that I'm using. So you can see once you open this up, you've got some options. These are the most recent, the United States when I'm trying to get a movie to work and Mexico when I'm just trying to have secure connection to the internet. And you can see here in the list, you can choose any of these countries to have your computer be uh, located in that country. But for this, we're choosing United States. And you'll see it takes a couple seconds to connect. And this can slow down your internet connection just a little bit because you are, uh, instead of going directly to the server, you're going across to the United States and then over to the server. So there could be a little bit of a lag, but um, this is the way it works. So you can see I am now connected to the United States and I can go down here. And all I'm gonna do now is just click refresh in Amazon and you'll see how quickly it gets rid of that message. Now you can see the play button is here. Um, uh, there's just four days left to, uh, to watch this, so I've got perfect timing. You won't be able to watch this anywhere on the earth on Amazon Prime in just four days. So I got lucky, I can push the watch button and it'll start playing. Now this works also with Netflix or many of the other streaming services too, but it is not a guarantee. Um, but it's definitely for, um, let me see here. So I've got the VPN costs you can go over to NordVPN and for just $3.30 is the uh, the cheapest price per month you can get this. And like I said, it works on all of your different devices. So I always love to end my videos with a little bit of a lesson. And so today we're talking about a word. The word is contraseña, and that is a password. This is something if you move to Mexico, you're going to have lots of contraseñas. Mexico is starting to move more into the computer age. so. Your bank, you can have a online bank account now um, with a contraseña and the same thing with your electricity account. There's many things online, your, your internet connection, your telephone, many of those are going to need a contraseña and we'll throw in a bonus word that's usario. That's very common. That's your username and your contraseña is your password. So let me just look here real quick. So you can see here on CFE, the uh, electric utility, the usario and the contraseña. I'll see you in the next video.